Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of Intuitive Angling. And man, I really appreciate you guys swinging by the channel to spend some time with me on the video. Really appreciate that. And you know, I get a lot of requests, guys. Of people want to hear stuff from like, what's the craziest thing that ever happened to you on the water, Randy? What's the weirdest thing? What's the, what's the whatever thing that's ever, you've ever seen on the water in fishing tournaments for 40 years? So I got a, a good story for you guys today. I'm going to tell you about probably the most I don't even know how to describe it. The, the most strange, weird, uh, uh, embarrassing, whatever you want to call it, but it was, it was pretty funny. I think you guys will get a kick out of this in today's video. Um, also guys, just a quick invitation. I'd like to invite everybody to please swing by, uh, fishthemoment.com, the website. I'll put the link in the description and check out my, uh, lake map breakdowns that I build for Fish the Moment. Um, these are great resources, guys. If, you, if you're if you struggling with the lake that you fish or you've never been on a lake you're going to, this is a good resource to learn a lot about that lake and get some good fishing spots on it. So I'll put the link in the description to the video if you guys want to check those out. I really appreciate that. Okay, I've actually, uh, I think I told part of the story. Man, it's been like three years ago, but, you know, this was like this. I think I related this a little bit three years ago, but we've had over 100,000 people added to the channel since then. So there's a good chance a lot of you guys haven't uh, heard this, but it was it's worth repeating because it was it definitely stands out in my mind. <coughs> this was, <coughs> excuse me guys, this was a situation I was fishing a tournament at Pot Potomac River. And the kitty, and the, and the kitty, and the kitty. Oh, friendly, friendly farm cat there. I mean, anyway, I was fishing a tournament at the Potomac River in Maryland. This has been several years ago. And uh, it was, I think, the first or second day of practice. No, it was, yeah, first, I can't remember, whatever practice. It was right off, maybe first or second day of practice. And anyway, I was fishing along at the Potomac River, if you've never been there. It's a tidal river fishery. Um, and I was fishing along the main river down south uh, from Mattawoman Creek. And there's nobody down there. I'm like the only boat that I've seen all morning. I've been fishing for probably, I don't know, a couple hours. It was still not early, early, but it's probably, you know, 8 o'clock or so in the morning. And I'm fishing down this main river grass bed there. And like I said, I haven't seen a boat or heard a boat, except there's, I was, I was working this main lake bank and there's like a little bay in there. And I'm working this bank and out in the middle of this bay, there's a boat sitting out there. And it's, it's like a, um, it's, it's like not, not a, like a big yacht, but it's like, it looks like probably about a 30 or 40 foot boat. One of those pleasure type boats, you know, that people run around in nice boat, just sitting out there. So anyway, I'm fishing out there, and all of a sudden, I hear a noise out there. Like, like it sounded like like a, a woman screaming or something like that, and didn't think much about it. And then it got a little louder and louder, and all of a sudden, I hear this woman screaming bloody murder at the top of her lungs. Like, I mean, like she's in, in like, you know, somebody's killing her or something. And it's like, what the heck over there? And I look over there, and I can't, I can't I'm looking at the boat, I'm probably about... I don't know, maybe a hundred yards away from the boat, maybe, maybe 200 yards. I was far enough away from it where, you know, I could hear this very audible. And there's this woman that's like, like she's being murdered. And it's like, what the heck? And it's not stopping. Ah, just like screaming at the top of her lungs, you know, like, like help me type scream. So anyway, guy, you know, I carry my nine millimeter in the boat with me. So I was like, God dang it. You know, so I pulled my rod up, I pulled the trolling motor up. And I ran over there, you know, not knowing what I was get, fixing ready to get into. I had no idea what I was going to come into. So I ran over there on plane, shut the boat down. And when I shut the boat down, it came off on plane. And I ran up to the front of the boat. And there's two, there's a couple in there naked just getting it. It's like, and they both look up and they don't have any clothes on. And it's like, oh my God. You know, they start the, you know, the screaming stopped at that point. So it's like. I, you know, I know what that sounds like. This did not sound like that. This sounded like literally she was being killed, but apparently she was, but I don't know what the deal was. So anyway, I just, you know, they both looked up and I just turned the boat around and went the other way. I didn't think they, I, I guess they'd heard me, you know, the, surely they knew how much noise they were making. You, but I, I guess they were, I guess they thought they were just out there far enough where nobody would hear them or see them, but I had never heard anything like that in my, in, in my, no, you hadn't either. I can promise you guys, as much as you guys out there that have lived life to the fullest, you, I, you've never heard anything like this before. So, um, it was either uh, quite disturbing or quite, quite impressive one of the two. But anyway, guys, that was, uh, 
that was one of the stories I had for you out there that uh, stand out in my mind. I'll probably never forget. I've got a bunch of them out there sort of along the same lines of that, but nothing to match that one. So anyway, I hope you guys are well. We'll talk later.